After creating new work and set of scan resolution, we got into the scan interface. Before we start scanning, we need to select scan settings on the left of the window. The first part is called scan mode, in which you can choose to scan point cloud or markers only. Note that scan mode can only be selected when the scan is done or not started. Now let, let us try scan markers only first. This mode acquires marker data fast. There is no laser line projected during the scanning process. Markers can be scanned to supplement the global marker file generated before. After finished, the marker data can be saved as .p3 files and can be imported to help align in the future. Now let us switch to scan point cloud mode. Here, you can choose to add global markers during the scan or maintain current markers and add no more. If scan without this selection box checked, the software will not record extra markers during scanning. Only existing markers can be used for alignment. As the readout, you can see that I cannot move on to the areas where it was not scanned in previous marker mode. Now we check add global markers. And you can see that more markers are recorded. Finally, after scan point cloud data, if we switch to scan markers mode or imported global marker files, the current point cloud will be deleted. The object setting requires you to choose the object surface material accordingly. The software provides three types of surface conditions. Reflective, normal, and black. Normal is for objects that can be well scanned with the LED projector and rapid mode. While reflective is for a more shiny finish like this. And the black object is like this which is what we will scan this time. After choosing the right object setting, we can enter a preview to adjust brightness. You can adjust the brightness by clicking corresponding buttons on the scanner, or use the brightness bar. Brightness is at good level when you see a continuous laser line in preview. Note that this need to be down when your scan distance bar is in gray area. During the scan, we may go from one type of surface to another. You can change the object and brightness setting correspondingly. Data setting only needs to be set when brightness is at maximum but still having no data collected. Move the bar to the right means you will collect more data but also more noise. Even black and shiny objects can be captured with high brightness setting. Here, we are scanning a mirror to illustrate an extreme situation. Adjust the data setting is not recommended unless there is no other way to obtain data. Although it's possible to scan, you can tell that the readout is very noisy.